In this video, I'll show you how to record and where to find the recordings on Zoom. I'll also show you how to set up breakout rooms. So there are two different ways to record your Zoom meeting. So on the bottom right hand corner, you click on record. So you can either press Alt R to record on this computer. So it'll be saved on your computer. Or you can do Alt C to record onto your cloud. So by recording on the computer, it gets saved locally onto your computer. And if you record on a cloud, it'll be shortly uploaded to your website. So I'll demonstrate both of them. So by clicking record on this computer right now, it's recording this Zoom meeting. And you have the option to pause the recording and to stop the recording. So I'll stop the recording. And it says the recorded file will be converted to an MP4 format when the meeting ends. And if you record on cloud, it's the same idea, except in this, when you stop the meeting, it will be uploaded to cloud. And to find your options, so you click on Gen Recordings, and you could choose to where to store your recordings at. So for now, I have it stored in my documents under Zoom. And you have the option to choose a location for the recorded files for meeting. And also to record a separate audio file for each participant who also speaks. And right here, you can manage your cloud settings, which opens up the website. Right here. So to find your recordings, you can go to your website right here, recording, you click here recording, and right here you can see the direct video where it's going to be uploaded to the cloud. Breakout rooms are like mini Zoom meetings for participants to interact with each other in their smaller groups. So to enable breakout rooms, you click here on the bottom right hand corner. Right here, you have two options. You could assign all the participants automatically, or you can assign them manually. So I'm going to assign them manually with just four rooms. Right here, we tell you we have zero to one participants in each room. So I'll create rooms. So right here, I have four different breakout rooms. and. When you hover over them, you have the option to rename or delete. And um, right here, you can assign the participants. So I'm going to assign one of the students, which is me, to the first workout room. And you also have the option to move the student to a different workout room. And on the bottom left hand corner, you have the option to recreate all the rooms. And then right here, you have the option to add a room. And what? And right here, you have open all rooms or close all rooms. So open all rooms means that all the students or participants that are not yet in the room, they have the choice to join either of all five of these breakout rooms. So right here, you, you can have a message to say like, Mm, get into small groups and this would notify all the participants to get into a breakout room and right here you can close all the rooms so that the students will have time 60 seconds to leave before their breakout room to go to the settings you click here next to start video and click on video settings and right here, you have all the advanced settings that you can change for your Zoom meeting. And right here with the video, once again with touch-up appearance, you can make yourself look a lot more better by clicking this. Now, less wrinkles. And for advanced users, there are more statistics and accessibility. Right here, you can choose your caption size, and 
right here are the keyboard shortcuts that you can use for your Zoom meeting. Thanks for watching!